my name welcome to ninja tech in this video we will see how can we set up light speed cache plugin without getting any error so uh, first of all you can go to plugins if you don't have a uh, light speed cache then you can uh, click on this add new and then uh, from here you can simply search for light light speed now uh, you can see uh, the plugin is light speed cache by light speed technologies so i have already activated so now you need to active this let me show you uh, how to find the culprit in your light speed cache first i will show you uh, what are the recommended settings for light speed cache so uh, i am going in the light speed cache uh, setting you can uh, go simply from there now go to dashboard so uh, it is a dashboard uh, for light speed cache you need to go into the general bar in general section refresh domain key when you will click on the refresh domain key then after uh, one or two minutes uh, you need to refresh the browser when you will uh, refresh the browser the domain key will automatically be adjusted so uh, after this you can uh, on guest mode so i have uh, on the guest mode but i have switched off the guest optimization because uh, this option was culprit and this option was breaking my website that's why I this option off uh, then after this you have to click on the check my public ip from uh, this then it will show you your uh, ip then you need to copy this ip from there and uh, then paste in uh, this section or this bar then uh, save changes and then in the cache section in the cache section uh, these are the recommended settings so enable cache yes on cache login user on cache commenters on uh, rest api on cache login page on cache favicon on cache php resources on so uh, cache mobile also on after this you need to save this and uh, then click on cdn then uh, click on this quick cloud cdn on then uh, save changes after this uh, you need to go into the image optimization section and uh, this will uh, optimize your uh, images you need to go in the image optimization setting and auto request cron on auto pull cron on optimization optimize original images on remove original backup off uh, then optimize losslessly off preserve exif off image webp replacement webp replacement on this is the uh, lightest format like uh, if you have dot uh, jpg image this will be replaced with webp format then uh, webp for extra uh, switch uh, keep it on then uh, save changes and in the page optimization this is the uh, main section and if you uh, if your site is breaking then um, the 90% chance is that your site is breaking uh, from some option from uh, page optimization so uh, in css setting C cs minify on cs combine on generate ucs keep it on but in my case it was the culprit it was breaking my website that's why i kept this off after this ucs as inline on css combine external and inline on load cs in asynchronously on then keep both of these options on and font display optimization to swap if your site break then you can change these options or you can uh, uh, you can simply keep it to default then in js setting keep this on keep js combine on combine an external and inline on load js deferred I have switched this to deferred but if it breaks your website then uh, keep it uh, then change it to delayed or off 
after this option uh, HTML setting HTML minify on DNS prefetch control on remove query strings on load Google font asynchronously on remove WordPress emoji on remove no script tags off so uh, after this there is media setting lazy load images on responsive placeholder on and uh, then generate LQIP in background on lazy load iframes on add missing sizes on then uh, in media excludes remain this then in localization section graftar cache on then in tuning CSS just keep them as default then in database section then in database section you can simply uh, clean all from here you don't need to install another plugin for a database uh, after this there is a toolbox now uh, let me show you the website so uh, this is my website it is working fine as you can see it is working fine but uh, let's suppose I am changing my option as I know uh, as I already know which is culprit uh, so I am directly enabling that option so in CSS setting if I keep this on generate UCSS on then save changes then if I reload the page it is not breaking the website but actually the website is broken so whenever you make changes or whenever you enable or disable any option then make sure must select purge all you can click simply toolbox then open link in new tab then in toolbox there is purge all option so now I have uh, changed the option generate UCS on and then I will um, click on the purge all to uh, see the changes now I have clicked the purge all now I can see the changes but uh, you can use different browser to see the changes I am opening Tor browser Tor browser is best for this uh, testing purpose because uh, whenever you reload the browser it changes the IP so uh, now let's search for that website tech iron dot tech iron dot com so now uh, I am opening that site it is taking time due to uh, internet speed now you can see the website is broken it is telling me skip to content tech iron and the website is totally broken due to that option so uh, uh, that's how you can find the culprit whenever you change the option then immediately uh, press the purge all after changing then uh, that option and see that uh, thing in uh, your site because purge all option immediately uh, apply the changes uh, now uh, I will simply switch off this and then I will save changes and now again I will click on purge all because if I want to see the changes then I need to click on purge all after every option so uh, now again I will reload the Tor browser and now again I will write techiron.com now you can see the website is working fine because uh, we have again switched the option to off so uh, that's how you can find the culprit and uh, by using purge all you can see the changes immediately and uh, that's how you can set up your light speed cache plugin uh, without getting any error i hope you understand thank you so much for watching